Well, the name Bang in a Can, in a sense, says it all because it's an idea that music is this very primal, simple thing that, you know, if we were just left in some kind of urban environment with nothing, we would still make music by banging on cans. You know, there's something very direct about it and very, very deep and simple in the end. Bang on a Can itself is kind of a multifaceted organization. There's what well, we are, the All Stars touring group. Um, six players plus a, what's the sound engineer, so, so we travel all over the, the world playing this music. There's a summer school, summer institute that happens. There's a re recording company that was founded to, to promote this music and to, and to present it. Um, there are, uh, Bang on the Hand also does other presentations other than the All Stars. So it, it, it's multifaceted in, in that respect. There's a freedom in terms of where we'll travel musically. I mean, who we'll work with, the way we'll present the music, uh, what the music will entail. But mainly it has to do with a, a kind of creative and artistic freedom where when we work with composers or we work with specific musicians, we try to you know, bring out what they do and the way that they do it and find common ground with them. The music that we, kind of, that we play, it, it, it's kind of a combination of all, of all the music that everyone is interested in. It's kind of like a coming together of all of our, all of our musical selves. Uh, in, in that, you know, many of us, um, as we were growing up, we were listening to pop music and rock music and we were playing jazz groups. And at the same time, we were studying the classical repertoire. And at, at a certain point, we, were, we realized, why, why should those parts of our, of our musical interest be separate? Why can't we combine all those? And so that's kind of, kind of how, how it works. It's, everything that we are interested in, we kind of pull together and come up with something new. What's interesting to me now is that there are so many musicians in their, in their 20s and 30s or you know, even in high school and college who don't find what we do that strange you know, because it's, well, of course that's what you're going to do. Of course, you know, I'm listening to electronica and I'm listening to Balinese gamelan and I'm you know, making music on my laptop and I'm playing string quartets. And of course I want to find a way to do all that. So increasingly we find younger musicians who uh, you know, who already know this stuff and who don't find it to be a struggle. When we were younger, uh, it sort of felt, and maybe this was just, uh, you know, a mindset, it sort of felt like we had to, to fight to find, you know, the places to play this music or to, to get people to accept it, or certainly to accept it as serious music. Uh, but I think it's, it's happening now all around us. It's very, it's very encouraging and actually inspiring. I know when we have um, worked with younger composers, we will meet people that are maybe even writing for us now. And they'll sit there and say, tell us that ever since they were musically aware, they've been listening to Bang on a Can. It's sort of funny because uh, uh, sometimes we joke and we say, wow, we went from being nobodies to being has-beens. You know, like, it used to be nobody had heard of us, and now it's sort of, oh yeah, well, they were the guys that did this 10 years ago. But, but we're still doing it, so. <laughs> To me, it's, it's about joy, it's about devotion, and it's about grace. It's just about finding a way to take the sounds around you and the feelings that you have inside of you and express them in a way that creates an energy that people can resonate with. And, you know, we live in a time where there's, we have the opportunity to kind of literally find musicians that uh, are simpatico with that all over the world. To me, it's an incredible, it's a dream come true that I'm, I'm working with these guys and I'm working with Chinese pipa players like Wu Man and tabla players from India like Sandeep Das and Balinese gamelans and great jazz musicians, rock drummers like Glenn Kochi who we're playing with tonight. And, and we're all finding a way to do something that's meaningful to us and, and hopefully to an audience. And this is something that was you know, as I said, I dreamed of it when I was a, a student, but uh, that it's actually happening is really amazing to me.